Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Grim, and I got very, 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 special video for you guys today. We go check out the friendly war here in Cold Sept versus Naggy Land Elite. Now, uh, it looks, um, wow, this is kind of awkward. Oh, man, I just showed you guys the uh, beatdown that took place. It's a case of assault. Might have to call the police, but, um, this is what I got to showcase for you guys today. A quick exp explanation of what happened uh, with the Snogland Elite War. These guys um, are from um, a part of India, and they had an election, um, is my understanding. And so the government shut off, like, internet. Like, straight up. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, blackout. Like, the country went on blackout for this election, which is crazy, number one. And number two, I don't think anybody in the rest of the world would be able to make it through that like i know in america we'd be done for like we would be riots in the streets it'd be over with it'd be like a nuclear fallout just happened like straight up canada uk aussie land i'm sure all you guys oh my god it would be ridiculous anyway we're gonna be checking out some 11 v 11 triples here from lord khan or ryan these are epic Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Two 11v11 triples, so 11v11 six pack here in this war. So this is basically just going to be a showcase raid. I'm just going to show the raids, talk about them a little bit, um, and just show you guys some really amazing content of this. So, as you can see, Gollum went in, did some tanking. Wallbreakers opened everything up. A couple bowlers, bowlers, King, Queen, and the Warden move in. They are going to get... Um, this inferno tower down and then they also got that air defense there on the right hand side um, of your screen there There goes the inferno tower the king is going to use his ability He's going to step up here and take out the enemy queen use the warden's ability uh, Try to keep the queen alive try to keep that king alive too queen is going to use her ability and get the eagle down Huge value from that kill squad right there. So now from the left hand side of your screen you can see some uh, lava hounds and balloons being put uh, moved into the base. He's got three lava hounds for this raid and about like 16 17 balloons I'm not sure how, how many he had at the beginning there. You can see about three or four per pack This pack is targeting the whatever that is the mortar. This pack is targeting the archer tower And they're gonna move straight in with the help of this haste spell right into that air defense there You can see oops Tybo sending me messages um, And then they're going to move on these hounds are gonna move on to the next air defense obviously distracted um Archer Tower here is going to be targeted by these balloons. They're going to move in here. You can see the next hound is being trickled in with some more balloons to the distracted Archer Tower, just like that. Keep moving in. Another haste spell accelerates them across this uh, sweeper and the uh, whatever that was, Wizard Tower, and then also to the Tesla. They keep moving in a clockwise fashion around the base, just like that. More hounds are popping. Uh, he's got one hound left tanking over that air defense. They take out that air defense and it moves across the screen to the last air defense at the top of the screen now. A freeze spell is placed trying to grab uh, the inferno tower obviously and then the expo and the wizard tower. Grabs the expo and the um, inferno tower doesn't quite grab the wizard tower. Rage spell um, is going to get them through that inferno tower really easily and then a haste spell moves them across the rest of the base to that wizard tower. And then a heal spell is going to keep these balloons alive as they encounter the last air defense. Um, keeps them, heals them all back up to full. Uh, they take out that air defense, and it's over at this point. There's so many balloons up, a couple archer towers, and Tesla's remaining. But it's just an absolute, he just crushed it, like, straight up. He's got minions of his own all over the place, pups all over the place. Balloons take out the last archer tower, wrapping up an 11v11 three-star raid. So, four times, you know, it's just clean up here. You guys know how all that works. If that's not impressive enough, Ryan decides to go ahead and do it again. Number two base of this war. Gonna go ahead and take on the next base. There goes the three star. With the same, well, not the same type of raid, but he's gonna go up against another town hall 11. This one's a little bit more, a uh, little under upgraded, I'll say. Um, but still, it's an 11 v 11 triple. Like these don't, you don't see these very often. Every once in a while you see them, but you know you don't see a six pack 11 v 11 that often as either. So. Little queen charge is going to happen here. She's going up against the sweeper, but it's not going to be a huge deal here. She's going to work her way down and then in uh, to that barbarian king. You can see rage spell keeps her alive. Those healers get some extra healing power. 
Uh, she steps up, takes out that sweeper, so that's not a factor anymore. Starts to take out that dark drill, and then will round the corner back in to take on the Barbarian King. Starts shooting at him, stays inside the rage spell radius just barely, so she's going to get some value from that rage spell. Takes out the cannon, and then is going to move on uh, to that air defense there, and then to the enemy archer queen. She's going to take that out with the help of that poison spell, slowing her down a little bit. Doesn't use the ability. She's in the red, but she is staying alive here. She encounters the next... Um, uh, there she has to pop the ability as uh, she encounters the cannon and the archer tower at the same time plus those expos uh, Wallbreaker fail a little bit there uh, King will work his way in here just a moment uh, There goes the rest of the wall breakers open everything up for the king He will actually go on a little walk here He's gonna go around the outside of the base on this little walk uh, tries to get the warden in there uh, to go ahead and help out just a little bit here um, the queen, again, is still on this little charge that she's doing. Little queen walk slash charge here going on. Uh, very, very impressive outcomes. The clan castle troops, I think he dropped one balloon to pull out the air targeting CC troops. So that is going to go straight for the queen. She will turn on that, take that out um, in just a moment there. Takes that out. Another rage spell is placed. Accelerates her through this uh, Inferno Tower. Plus the Warden's ability keeps her alive um, while she encountered that Inferno Tower. So this Queen, war queen Charge is just crazy. You can see she's just going to do her thing on the left-hand side of the screen here. Not whole much, a whole lot going on. Now on the right-hand side of your screen, in comes a kind of not spam Lalo'd, but close to spam Lalo'd. You can see these balloons here will target this um, expo here in the core. This big pack here is going to target the archer tower and then um, this thing is obviously going to uh, go for that air defense over there on the left. These ones will go for the um, this pack here will go for the wizard tower, these to the cannon, these to the archer tower, and so on and so forth. Hound's going for the air defenses, obviously. Haste spells will accelerate them up into those first layer defenses. Freeze spell freezes that inferno tower. They're hasted into that inferno tower as well. They will get that down so very fast. Uh, skeleton traps pop all over the place. Rage spell will accelerate them through the air defenses and then through that eagle artillery as well. It will take out that eagle artillery just a massive pack of balloons uh, and then they take out the last air defense and there's only one uh, or two wizard towers and an archer tower remaining one balloon actually is going to trek its way over to that wizard tower and take it out um, and then it's just one archer tower left the CC troops start to come out but at this point the raid is already over Town Hall 11 v 11 six pack in this war for Ryan absolutely crazy minions all over the place pups on the town hall and that's going to be it for today, guys. 11 v 11 triples for you guys. A little showcase showing you guys some really, really cool attacks. Um, I didn't know what to do with these, so I'm basically just going to upload this video as is. Um, I'm not going to recap this war against Nagi Land Elite. Hopefully, we get to reschedule with these guys. Um, for, from what I hear, they were really uh, good to work with, really nice uh, people over there. So hopefully, we get to reschedule. Uh, kind of unfortunate what happened uh, to like about half of their players you know, losing their internet. But yeah. So just going to upload those two 11v11 triples just to show you guys some stuff. Um, you know, probably going to be one of those that I'm going to save for a rainy day. So like, you know, the day after um, an update or something like that, you might see these uh, just for some content or whatever. Going to save it for a rainy day. have no idea when this will be coming out. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Awesome raids by Ryan. Shout out to him. Crazy good attacker. But... If you want to apply, apply online at coldseptember.com. Follow us on Twitter, at coldsept. Follow me on Twitter, darklegends, three zeros and a one at the end. Don't know why that's my Twitter name. It just is. All right. As said best, bye, Green Day. Wake me up when September ends. Peace out.